family trips and vacations. sure plans that we have left and then we leave Saturday to go back home so it's been a really nice time so far the pool is really great the house is nice it's a salt water pool, it's a salt water pool really? which is nice um, the tile around the pool is not so nice it's pretty slick when it's wet which I knew it would be but I have some pretty banged up knees <laughs> from falling but it's okay, I had Elijah. He didn't hit the ground, so it's all that mattered. <laughs> but my knees look less than stellar, so that's okay. We'll be going back down to Kentucky, I think the second weekend of June, to do our second leg of the cat trail. So we're looking forward to that. It'll be Kimberly's first time camping with Elijah. Well, really, like permanent camping, yeah. Kimberly's first time going on the trail with us. She didn't go last month. Which is okay. It turned out to be a not uh, it turned out to be a long night the second night. And yeah. it's just better. It would that would have been awful to have Elijah out like that. But they ended up just coming home that night and they didn't get home until what? Five o'clock in the morning. We have um, a reservation booked for Narcoosis in the Grand Floridian tonight. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. It's supposed to be like really nice. And then tomorrow, I don't know how to pronounce it, but we're going to be at Lake Collier. Collier, I don't know. It's in the um, Canada part of the showcase at Epcot. Um, my, one of my friends recommended that so we're going to do that tomorrow um, and then as soon as we get done eating there tomorrow we're going to head back home so that we can visit with Elijah a little bit before bed so we're about three hours from Disney World we're staying at Kimball. Loved actually I loved Disney last time I was there Ethan's never been so I kind of just wanted to get his feet wet and hope that he likes it so that we can go every once in a while and him actually enjoy it I've been asking to go to Disney since we've been dating, so which was six years ago. <laughs> but I 
think it'll be nice. He loves Star Wars. I like Star Wars, but even he's he loves Star Wars. So we're gonna spend all day today in Hollywood Studios, and most of the day I'm sure in um, Galaxy's Edge. So I think it'll be I think it'll be a lot of fun. Whenever I first went, which was eight years ago, it was actually the first um, Star Wars weekend. We went at the beginning of May, and it was right after Disney bought the rights to Star Wars. So it was really neat. I don't know like what all they do anymore, but it was it was really cool. So I'm excited for Ethan to experience it, and hopefully he realizes that Disney's not just for kids. There's lots for adults too. We did go to the beach last night. Yeah, we did go to the beach last night after dinner because actually the um, restaurant was right on the beach. They even had an option for eating your meal at tables on the beach, like on the sand and everything. But it was a river beach, not an ocean beach. Yes, that's true. The Although it was called like brick water. Yes, I think something like that. Part, it's like a mixture of salt and fresh water. But it was really cool. They had like a, a what, they, what is it called? A pier. A pier, that's right. I knew it wasn't a port or a marina, but I could not remember what it was called. But um, yeah, that was really nice. And after dinner, we went to the beach because um, Ethan's sister was wanting to take the kids to the beach today and tomorrow. But I wanted to get pictures with Elijah for his first time at the beach, so, in the sand. He loved it. He really liked it. We will have updates. Um, so, the process for the cat, which I think Ethan went over in the actual cat rerun video. Maybe he didn't put that part in, but after we pre-run the second leg, we'll figure out exactly where it is that we're wanting to host our event. Then we have to submit that to the Forest Service, get it approved for the dates and the locations, and get the proper permitting. And then we will hear back from them to make sure that those dates are okay. And then we can launch our event and open it up so that you guys can get registered for it. So it is a process. Um, I like in a perfect world we would have started the pre-running sooner, but at the same time, like having an idea of what we're doing will be it'll be make it easier for if we do this particular if we do the cat again in the future so it won't be quite so it's just such a big um it's over a thousand miles so there's a lot of it to pre-run if you wanted to we just need to know what we're wanting to do we like to pre-run it make things go as smooth as possible for you guys because we want you to enjoy the event that's really our biggest goal yeah, not having to worry about minimal Where damage. Yeah. What you're doing. Yes. I mean, I'll, there's always a chance for hiccups, but we try to keep those to a minimum. So, yeah. So, anyways, as soon as we get all that paperwork approved, we will be updating you guys and opening up the event. We're hoping for um, late summer like end of August, right? I think that's what we're hoping for. So, we're looking forward to it. We've had a few people asking if we were going to be doing an event on the cat. It's something that we've been wanting to do for a couple of years, but we just have not had, we knew that it was going to take either, it, yeah, we knew that we were going to have to break it up into a couple weekends or we'd have to take close to a week to be able to pre-run what needed to be pre-ran, and we still need to figure out how many days that event's going to be. Yeah. yeah, I think we're leaning towards three days. Yeah. Get in there Thursday night. Doing a Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Or the next Sunday. We want to make it worthwhile, but we also know that a lot of people just can't make it for more right. than a couple Sunday. days. Yeah. And a lot of people are ready to head home on Sunday morning which is understandable after you've had a long day of traveling, setting up camp, breaking down camp, traveling, doing that a couple times. You're just ready to be home and relax. So, and working
getting a lot of Saturdays lately. <laughs> and evenings. Yeah, actually been working a lot of Saturdays, but you didn't work on I could have worked this Saturday and I probably would have been swamped this week, but instead you're Surprise. you're not soaking up the sun. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This one will be a little bit different than usual. So let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribing. If you ring that, if you push that little bell, um, you'll get notifications when we post videos as well. So you can stay up to date in case you happen to miss our posts, letting you know that we've uploaded another video. Um, yeah, and the more you guys comment and let us know, like give us feedback, the more we can kind of tailor the videos to what it is that you like. So, because I mean, we do like documenting things, but we mostly do these for you guys for information and just kind of updates. So, if you let us know what it is that you like. I like making the videos. He, Ethan loves making the videos. Like, he, he loves making the videos. So, if you guys let us know what you like, we can try to tailor it to that so anyways thanks for tuning in hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the video yep. take care Bye.